Racing Metro, with a 100% home record, hosted Grenoble, who had one away win in four attempts prior to this game in the Paris suburbs. Place kicking duties for both clubs were assumed by Irishmen, James Hart for Grenoble and Johnny Sexton for Racing. Both the Grenoble scrum half and the Racing fly half kicked three first half penalties for nine all at the turnaround. Four minutes into the second half, Sexton put an off-colour Rassing into the lead. Not the Rassing coach, Laurent Travers, saw anything to get too infused about. A minute later, Grenoble managed the game's first try. Rassing saw attacking possibilities down the short side, and Sexton flung out a pass to Jacques Cronier, which was dropped by the former Springbok. Hart hacked on for himself and was not to be caught by Adrian Plante. Sexton's pass died on Cronier, who should still really have taken it. The sparky heart so alert, and he also converted for a 16-12 advantage. Sexton cut the gap to one with his fifth penalty, and then, with 12 minutes to play, Rassing looked like they'd pulled the result out of the fire. Sexton's deaf chip, and the try would have been on for the former Leinster man, but for him being picked to the ball by his own winger, Mark Andre. Sexton spotting that no one was at home and Andre scoring his third of the season. Sexton lined up the conversion. Not his best strike and the flag stayed down. Referee David Wilkinson refused the demands of his fellow Irishman to run the validity of the kick by the TMO. Rassing changed their entire front row on the hour. Former Northampton men Suani Tongawir and Brian Mujati really struggled as Rassing conceded two penalties at the scrum. Valentin Courant on for Hart to kick the first one. Courant now had this to win it in the final minute. And no mistake. And Fabrice Londro's men prevailed by 22 points to 20.